Simba, you're alive. This kingdom doesn't belong to you. Simba's the rightful king. The rightful heir. The choice is yours, Scar. Either step down or fight. Must this all end in violence? I'd hate to be responsible for the death of a family member, Simba. I've put the past behind me. But what about your faithful subjects, have they? Simba, what's he talking about? Go on, tell them who's responsible for Mufasa's death. I am. <gasps> he admits it, murderer. If it weren't for you, Mufasa would still be alive. Do you deny it? No, but it was an accident. You're in trouble again, but this time, Daddy isn't here to save you. And now, everyone knows why. Simba! Now, this looks familiar. I think I've seen this before. Oh, yes. I remember. This is just the way your father looked before he died. Here's my little secret. I killed Mufasa. Well, we're not smart thing to say. Tell them the truth. All right, all right. I did it. Louder. I killed Mufasa. Happy? Scar. That's lamb. You little Scar! Simba, you get Scar. We'll handle these guys. All right, meat. Bring it on! Excuse me, pardon me, coming through! Not bad, you two! I wish you would have done what you did in movie one and a half, but... Hey, I'll take it. And of course, Simba's now out of the potty. And now, back in the Pride Rock, the last location we have yet to visit here. The little cave where the uh, people sleep. Fight the hyenas while protecting Puma and Timon! It is not a difficult fight. As long as you do the magnet trick, we should be good to go. Unfortunately, they are very quick on their feet, so it might not be as easy as you think. Basically, just do what you would normally do. Now, like a uh, mini boss, or mini, mini uh, escrow mission, you can call them over. As you saw there, they actually launch them into midair. Very helpful. Really need to uh, take care of things, but again, magnets and knock out each one of them. Ow, ow. Okay, I need, I need to focus on a different one. Where's the one that has the lowest amount of HP right now? Oh, wait. There's only two of them left. Okay, get down. Screw you. Ow. Can I call him over? And it did not nothing at all. You die? And you're next! Um, what the heck? You're cheapskate! Get down! Get down with about Sal! What what? Where's Simba? He went up there. And we'll go after him. But first things first, where is it? I know there's it's around here. Oh, I saw something right down here. That's the moon. But yeah, here it is! That last puzzle piece! If I can grab it, that'd be great. There we go! And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the Pride Lands uh, collection fun. Yeah, like I said, the Frylands is very, very easy to complete. It'll probably be your Thank you to not having to have the extra bits and pieces. But alright, now let's go get ready. Let's see. We're at full health, our MPs are at its max. Can't think of anything else, so let's go run shot right in to Sim help us Simba. Simba, where are ya? Yeah! Definitely not that. 
Oh, this is interesting. I guess why don't you just come out here and you're good to go. Maybe I gotta talk to the guys first. Simba, you have to beat Scar. Please save our kingdom. Oh, right, duh, there's an area right here. Simba! <sighs> this is his fight, Donald. And goodbye, Scar. You're okay. Now that's quite a Disney death. If I've ever done seen one. Oh, that was just a sneak preview. Cause this ain't over. Oh, not by a long shot. Anger and jealousy turned the King of Pride Rock into a heartless. Oh, your kingdom's gonna rise again. But this time, as the Pride Lands of Darkness. Yep. That's what you think. And now, it's officially boss battle time, and... Oh boy. Just, oh boy. So the thing with this fight one, of all else to think about, is pay Wait for Scar to attack, and then you retaliate. You do not want to attack him immediately, because, ow, he does damage like that. Wait for him to finish his thing, and then go after him. And since you can't, you know, uh, uh, block anything, the best you can do is da uh, dash or reflect. It's definitely a matter about being patient. Okay, just do a couple of these. Eventually, during the fight, he's gonna go into a little charge phase, like this. When this happens, reflect! Because when it hit, because if you hit him with a reflection, you'll actually knock him in mid-air. So if I guess right. Yeah, like that. I'll knock him out of his little phase, and you can get another couple of combos in. Use that to your advantage. If you knock him out mid-air, then you can deal as much damage as you like. However, when that runs out, run! Run like the wind! Away from him! His dash attacks cover thunder, fire, and I believe darkness. Either way, they're powerful. Be careful! Just run away, run away, run away, run away! And if you can at any point, you have a 4 your MP bar that's very... If your MP bar is at its very lowest, use the Wildcat combo finisher to, you know, deal a significant amount of damage before, you know, having to recharge. It might help the fight go by a little quicker. But alright, I'm gonna let him do one more thing. Alright, go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Alright, here goes fire. Uh-oh. And now here comes the worst one. This is about all else you want to say for your reflection, because this deals massive damage. So, make sure your reflect is ready. You're most likely not going to deal damage enough to knock him out of his face, but... Damage. Very helpful. You avoid the lightning. Ow. Don't know why I did that. That, of course, is my mistake. Or actually, there is a way, a reason why I could do this. Thanks to the MP range. Help the MP bar speed up a little quicker. Get it. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, 
I can get this right. Wildcat! Now! He's in midair! Let's finish this! Stay down, Scar! Or our Warrior Souls maximum increase of HP, MP, and Donald gets himself a magic, or not magic, a fire boost. Whew. Just like that. Down goes the... And the release makes it seem less graphic than the movie. What time it is! Time to seal the keyhole! Oh, great gods of the key! Come forth! Bring me to your realm! So that we may seal this land of perfection forever! From the evils of darkness! Swing! Fire! Mufasa, guard us well! So that your son may prosper! in this land. Hey! What's with the light show? We have to say goodbye for a little while. I'll go tell Zimba! Oh, he's probably busy. Just tell him we'll be back soon. Oh, that's right. He's king now. He's gonna be so busy, he'll probably forget about his two best buddies. Well, you always got Hakuna Matata, right? Guess so! What do you mean, guess so? And what if he forgets to tell the carnivores who we are? <laughs> One look at you, and you're a pig roast! That's Mr. Pig Roast! <laughs> and I'm not sticking around to be anybody's pork dinner! Pumba! You can never forget your true buddies. <laughs> Like that, we get ourselves a boost to the fire elements. Flames appear and revolve all around you, use from the magic command, and cost 12 MP now. And what's the difference of, between the two? Well... What do you, what do you say I, uh, show it out? But yeah, now we're done here. There's a new episode for the Olympus Coliseum, but we're not headed there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to, let's see, Prime I wish there was a safe spot right over at, uh... Uh, but yeah, let's head on over to... from here. This is probably the best way. So first things first, we now have Fyra as our spell. The difference being that it does a little circular motion right there, as opposed to the original just surrounds it. Because now it does from all angles. And for a slightly longer amount of time, but not by much. Now, one thing in particular I want to show about this place before we go around, uh, before we leave, and then end things off. I don't know if you can, we can do this right away, but I know it exists. So, in the Pride Lands, at the Pride Rock, there's a specific amount of enemies that'll show up that are never-ending. That you can grind out to get yourselves to the maximum levels for the, uh, post-game stuff, suffice to say. Well, post-game, as far as Kingdom Hearts is concerned. Last I checked, you can't exactly... Once you beat the, the uh, last bit, you know, it just it reloads you from the last save point. But you, you get the idea. So we're just going to rush all the way back, and hopefully, if we can, I can show off what I'm talking about. You know, I do think this is something to bring up right now, of, of all places. And thus, this comes brought to you by yet another recording freeze. Which, thankfully, was right towards the end, when, the, when no cutscenes are happening, but still, yeah, it's been annoying. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, the grinding spots. Now, I don't know if this will show up. It may show up later, but... And... Yep, nothing as of yet. 
is maybe something later when we do the uh well we'll get to that point basically it's to give you guys an insight and i might even include this in the footage basically what you would see here is the an entire swarm of rocket thrusters you know the ones we fought in uh, the mulan world the ones that just swarm the air you could you could attack them and you know that sort of thing they would appear here in the fried rock find them for experience points uh in Final Mix, they changed things up on how... Well, they still had it, but it was kind of a different a different story. Because in the original Kingdom Hearts 2, you could come here, you could you basically grind them using the Magnet spell, attack, and then just attack them with Thunder, and they'd, instead they drop, you know, big amounts of uh, MP orbs, you'd be constantly refilling, and then just keep spamming, spamming, spamming until you're level, like, 99. Although, from what I've heard from the Final Mix versions, they changed that so it actually drops uh, HP and stuff, MP, so it's not as grinder-friendly. But it's still a helpful thing, and I recommend being ready for that. Another reason why you could probably grind out those uh, elixirs if you want to. But yeah, basically coming here much later, hopefully, and it's definitely a good place to grind. But that's assuming they have it in Final Mix, in Final Mix 2.0 to begin with. But I guess we'll come back later and find out. But yeah, that's basically everything for Pry Rock, guys. And now... I just gotta make sure I do this right, because I gotta find the another safe one to get out of here. Ah, uh, seriously, why couldn't they have put... I mean, granted, that probably would have made things too easy, you know. Going back and forth from the grinding, but still, come on, they can at least be a little bit nice. So I guess we'll head on back to... Uh, to the other place. Oh, hello! Magnet? Yeah, might as well see if I can get some elixirs while I'm here. Why not? Plus, gotta prolong those an hour twenty minutes, right? <laughs> Let's see. Right. And get over here. And Sam. Ah, but alas, no Alexis for me. It is a shameful time here on the Dreadlands. Hey, over here! Come here, buddy! Let's dance. Let's dance the dance of our ancestors. Thank you. Well, I recommend not wasting potions, just... Just bring that up. I should make sure of that, too. Oh, he's used all things. Okay, never mind, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Uh, let's head this way. Should be just up here. There we go. In the gorge. In the gorge. And now, to end things off officially. Because next time, guys, now we've completed all the world, it's time to do some revisits. Specifically, all of Bastion. The battle level has changed from its current one to level 28. And oh boy, is it worthy of that level. So yeah, with all that said and done, guys, that is going to do it for this session of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. If you guys have enjoyed so far, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Share this video with your friends, should you feel the need to. And of course, subscribe if you're new here to the channel and join the Dread Knights, Sora, Donald, and Goofy, Ding, and everyone else in their quest to... Well... Check out what's happening at Hall of Passion, because I see darkness, and darkness does not usually imply goodness. At least from my experience. Uh, but hey, until next time, this is my before signing out. Have a great rest of your day, take care, and let's roll over to MTU for our Encarcelate, and I'll catch you guys in the next session. <laughs>